Hey, good morning, fam. Today in Barbados is Emancipation Day. Today we celebrate the mil a milestone in our history, the day that we were freed from the bondage of physical slavery. So August the 1st of the Caribbean represents a day in the life of all people of color, black people, brown people, people that were enslaved throughout their history in the Caribbean. Today is that day we celebrate freedom. We call it emancipation day. So I'm heading up to the bus statue and take part in the in the celebrations. There are a handful of people at the statue. So I'm walking towards the celebratory area. This is the statue of Buster. That's all over. Slave in Barbados. The start of the rebellion. Very significant in the lives of Barbadians.
And have the majority not having the say in the lives of the people. Keep it burning till the break. Skillet, come and do something for me now. We applaud ourselves. As you say, this is a struggle and it's progress. We hear the thunder, Israel. I will give you thunder. We hear the thunder. We are the ancestors. How could this happen to such a strong, beautiful black race? We were kings and queens of Africa, the motherland. Follow unto us, men with guns, whips, shackles, and chains. Seize control of our great nation. These torturous memories haunt me as I remember the days of the start of slavery. 300 years are going as we prepare our minds and our bodies for the final journey back to Africa. One goal, one aim, one destiny. Thank you. I must to speak at this honorable place where Fidel Castro addressed the daily news. Yes! I have the responsibility today of remembering him that day. 22 years ago to the day he was spoke to it. And here I must say one thing. Here I must say Cuba is happy. We are all happy. And when Cuba return to Africa to do whatever it was only to pay homage to our roots to our essence and to our lives chaining that destiny as one of incomplete emancipation an incomplete liberation for the future that our ancestors planted for all of us. Thank you. <laughs> says yes you know I just discovered that my grandmother father come from Venezuela